up here. Okay. So we'll keep some of this division and down in here and so we'll just hollow it out first to kind of get that established where we're going to go with this. So this is going to be kind of ornery probably in here because we've got that joint in the tree there. It was a nice open fork. If this had been a real narrow fork, the bark, there would have been a bark inclusion in there. But because it was a wide fork, there's no bark in it, which is really nice. Okay, so we're kind of getting down below that real gnarly stuff there. So what I'm trying to do is get a platform that has all the surfaces kind of included, more or less. And uh, so I can kind of know what I've got that I have to work with wood-wise. I want to get this bottom pretty well established where it's going to be. So I can go back in here with my adds and kind of cut right to that bottom. All right there's the center. You can see the pith. And we just want that exposed so that we want to be, get just below that. So we're just going to go down there another little bit. Because that'll crack. If you leave that there in the edge of your bowl, I guarantee you that's going to crack on that line. So right here in the center, we're going to kind of lose this dark stripe most likely. Let's see here as we work our way out. I know I still have bark on there, but I don't have, that bark's not all that thick. I got a pretty good idea of what I can do right here and what I can't do. Get this around so I can try to catch that. It's not set up as best as I could be for a bowl quite shaped like this. So I'm working that real high with my ads because I want time I get down here in the bottom, I want that to be a planing cut in there. I can't be coming in very steep because I'm not real thick. And so I'm I'm really working down into the edge now. Okay, so now we gotta do the same thing over here. Start up this one. When I'm swinging that and swinging that right at myself, I'm not swinging that in big swings. Those swings all kind of have a stop in them. I run out of energy pretty much at the bottom of that arc. It's all kind of, these are kind of wrist swings instead of arm swings. So I'm, I'm just swinging with my wrist and my wrist only goes so far. So there's a stop where if I was going after this full on with my arm, I could get myself in trouble. I'm going to try just a little more right there. And then that's going to be about it for the ads project. So, that's where we're going to stop with the ads. So now, go in here and see how this is going to cut, kind of just get a feel for things. And stuff like this is where I leave my handle on my spoon knives, usually a little long. But I got a hand up here, kind of almost up above, that's doing the rotating. This other hand's just acting as a falcon. Since I'm kind of down to the finish in here, again, I'm not going to be just wailing on this thing like I was chopping a tree down. Same basic concept as the ads, just chasing that chip, trying to lock into that each time. And that just guides me, just takes me right around that corner.
again, I'm being real careful because I don't know just which way that grain's going to want to take off and go there. So I'm just kind of feeling my way along that edge. You know, I get up in there just so far. So, so now we're down where we normally end up. A little teeny knife against a big piece of wood. Again here you're just kind of going for a fairly consistent cross section in your uh, bowl so that it's it'll just have a better chance of drying successfully and try to work less. There we go. I think we're just basically done. Like I said, you could sit around and play with it all day, but it's uh, it's pretty close. <laughs>